Roses are red, violets are blue. New, 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 new. Oh, that was good. <laughs> That's good. We didn't, we didn't even plan that. Or maybe you did. <laughs> okay. Uh, blanket temporary tattoos. All right. We got these in. Oh, if you're yay. ready to add blanket to your life in a semi permanent, as a te temporary tattoo manner, uh, you tried these out. They, they stick on. They last for about a week. Yeah. Uh, they're really easy. It's just like standard tattoos. You use some water, warm water. You stick it on. You hold it with a towel. And then uh, you get Blinka. So you can you can take this with you. <gasps> Yay! And there, but you know, like, actually, maybe I'll show it just on the overhead real fast because it can show the, uh, the size. They're like three inches tall, made in the USA uh, by this really cool company that yep. makes uh, temporary tattoos. And um, they look good and they've got the white eye. So they, yeah. the eye will show up really nice. Yep. We paid extra for that. Yeah, a little extra for that. And we we tested it on us, and so I had it. I had multiple ones, no rashes, nothing. We you just to make covered sure your entire face with them. I was I was just full <laughs> on, just I was yeah. So but, Blinka can okay. be on your heart, literally. Okay, next up. Thank you. It's like Python out here. Okay, um, Pycom. We got a Pycom GPY. So this is the latest board from Pycom. They have a MicroPython core that runs on the ESP32, and then they toss all sorts of other wireless goodies on there. And uh, this board in particular, let me grab it so I can see. It has the ESP32. Um, let me zoom in here. It's got the ESP32 on there uh, with uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and then they add an LTE Cat M uh, cellular module. There's a little SIM card slot on the bottom here. You can plug it in. It's all encased. Uh, it uh, uses the Sequans chip. I don't know what that is, but they seem to like it. It has a little LTE antenna over here, uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna here, or you can use oops, you can use uh, an external Sorry. antenna as well. Got a NeoPixel. So it's an all-in-one MicroPython programmable board. You can pre program it over Wi-Fi um, and deploy code. Does so it's it kind of neat. The feather? It's not feather compatible. It's, it's similar size. They yeah. have their own kind of standard and their okay. own accessories as well. But you know, you, you can use it on a breadboard. Yeah, so yeah, you totally. can just still wire it up with a feather. Um, we just don't have it an adapter. Seem. But it's almost the same size. So makers out there. Yeah. So this is pretty neat. So they have a couple. They have ones that are just uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and they have ones that are um, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Sigfox, LoRa. So this is the one that's three network. Yeah, wow. This one, yeah, this one doesn't That's have cool. everything, but it's a, you know, it's a good price. So this is the Pycom GPY. Hey. Okay. Next up, let the blinky begin. Okay. So this is there's actually a two-in-one. This is a 64 by 64 matrix. Um, it is a gigantic LED matrix, just like the ones that are made that make LED walls we have here. It's running uh, this really fun LED sand demo that Phil B wrote. We have a bonnet that goes with it. Of course, you, you have to buy them separately. Um, these LED matrix panels are, are chainable. Uh, in particular, the th thing you have to watch out for this one is it's 64, uh, it's 64 pixels tall. It's 132 scan, which means um, you need to have a board that supports five address lines. And since it's an unusual, like it's not usual for you to get ones with five address lines, you just have to make sure that your hardware and library support it. Um, the the HZLR code that we use does, so you can use it with our bonnet, but like Arduino library does not. Um, this is too big of a panel, so there's something right. to watch out for. But if you are using Raspberry Pi, you get so many pixels, and they're very high density, and they're super fun. They're beautiful. And along with this, we have, good timing, we also have this bonnet. It's an RGB matrix bonnet. Uh, we've already had a hat but this bonnet is smaller. It fits nicer on a Pi Zero. It's fully assembled, so you don't have to do anything. You just pop it on. Um, it's got uh, power polarity protection. It's got the um, IDC connector. You can just plug right in. Again, no soldering required. You, it works with any Raspberry Pi with a 2x20 connector. So you can use it with your Pi Zero or ZRW or Pi 2, A+, Pi 3, whatever, any of the modern Pis. Um, there's level shifting, so you get five volt logic level. So you get like, you know, even with some matrices mm -hmm. don't like three volt logic. Uh, so that's all good. And then there's that nice polarity protection that also checks for overvolting. So even if you plug in a nine volt or 12 volt adapter, it, it won't do anything. Like it won't blow it up. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but it, because it's so common to grab a power adapter and plug it in and you're like not paying attention and it right. just blows up everything that I, I you that's know, nice. spent a little bit more to put that protection on there. Yeah, that's so, nice. I can show the matrix off. So this is the matrix off. It's 2.5 millimeter pitch. 
This is as pitchy as you can get. It doesn't get any. It's beautiful. More dense. Yeah. And then on the back, you've got all the driver chips, and then you can chain them so you can connect one to the out to the other if you want to add more. And this is the bonnet with it um, off. And you just show it off. You just plug this in here. And you're golden. That's the data port, power, power in. And then we've got your assistant. Uh, yes, <laughs> I'm good at assisting. Um, we have one that's assembled. So this one, we added a accelerometer. We have the code on GitHub for this. And a List3DH accelerometer. And it turns it into a super fun sand demo. So you can see this one even has a little Adafruit that the sand can stick to. Um, just showing all the color. And this is like super dim too, so it doesn't blow out the lights. It's quite bright otherwise. Um, I was gonna so say, a it's pair. a lot brighter here sitting next to it than it is on the screen. Yeah, because the camera, otherwise the cameras freak out. Oh, that it's makes like, sense. Yeah, we kind of figured out this is, even, even so you can still see a little bit of the refresh. Right. Um, but yeah, these are a good pairing. You don't have to use a 64 by 64 with this bonnet, but it's one of the only boards that we have seen that will support it. So if you want to drive this panel, this is a good, it's a good match. It's very fun. Yeah, and this is way more, this is a totally nerd snipey. Yes. You like, you put this in like a pile of nerds and like you're not gonna get nothing from them for like <laughs> hours. we will just sit here forever doing little physics demos. So yeah. yeah. They look like Skittles. They yeah. do. Or sprinkles for yeah. like uh, ice cream sundae or something. Yeah, there's a little rainbow demo. Then we got that hourglass demo too, which is pretty cool. Okay. Emergent behavior. That's right. Okay, so that's the demo. Nice. All right. Um, next up, this is this is a serious problem on Twitter today. This is one of the biggest problems I saw, and we have a solution. So, really? people are getting rings left on their table from their home pods. I don't know if you saw this, but we have a solution. Yes. Um, my solution was some Photoshop. No, um, we have coasters that have nothing to do with this I, I, <laughs> this home pod ring. <laughs> but I decided that I would say, okay, for all the folks that are freaking out over this this problem, um, we have these coasters. You, yeah. can, you can use them for other things, but... Aww, I've always wanted cute. PCB coasters, and I wanted to do a project with SAR from Bullport. And so um, a few months ago, we came up with this idea of doing a four-coaster set with the Circuit Playground characters, and SAR would kind of just take the characters and just have fun, and we'd make um, a coaster set that you can you know, use at home for your coffee, or maybe you put your robot on top of it, or maybe your HomePod, or, or what have you. Um, these coasters are really beautiful, so they were, they were hand-drawn by, by Boldport. Um, and we got like extra thick PCBs, so they're really sturdy. They're, they're um, not like double thickness, they're like one and a half thickness. Mm -hmm. They're made with um, non-marked FR4, so you have to find a factory that like doesn't have any water marking on the FR4. So it's oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you do, like, little things that like nobody cares about, but like, we care about. Um, it's a clear copper mask, so it's copper, but then we get a clear mask. So it's protected, but it looks like it's a bare PCB. And then we get gold enig plating for the highlighting. So it, it has this bi-tone look to it. And then we also sometimes, yeah. on the back, there's... Um, oh my gosh, I didn't yeah, realize it was both sides. Yeah, it's both yeah, sides. Let's go to the overhead. So yeah, you can see that they, they, they just look amazing. Uh, they've got this kind of cell shady look. Oh, they look even... I was. Uh, I like our photos, but this looks great too. No, it looks just fun. It looks yeah. Like, the photos are actually a little bit too, like, because the the light is so uniform. Yeah. Um, but you can see the copper here, and then the gold. But the copper, even though it's copper colored, it's masked, so you don't have to worry about it oxidizing because it's it's got a mask on it. But um, you just get this highlighting, so you get this really cool bi tone look. And then on the back. Yeah, flip all them over. Yeah, I'm gonna flip them over. You can, you know, this is the back, but you can have these be the front. Yep. Um. We've got the gold Adafruit, and then each character has a little... We want to do this for, like, 10 years. So I have this list of things for Adafruit. Yeah. That it's like a 100-year plan for Adafruit. <laughs> and, like, we're, like, this was one where, like, one day we'll be able to do these. All right, Carol, these are for you. Um, oh, happy Valentine's Day. These are for you. Thank you. Yeah. And, yay, and they get, oh, you know what, actually, something I noticed later? It's what? Like, bold ports are really cool. So these have the um, bees are in slightly different locations. Uh, so you can tell that you've got... The full, co like they go down. Oh, so you have the full collection. So you yeah. have the, you know, you have the collection. You can see like they're slightly lower each one. Um, though sneaky, but I, I noticed it. Uh, and you get four little bumpers. You don't have to use them. They don't come applied, but we applied them for you uh, to protect your table. But yeah, they're like nice. You can tell they're like extra thick. They're gorgeous. And then, yeah, they're like 
really, really sweet. So we're gonna do some more projects and- I wanna shine a NeoPixel on it, like with one of those focus like yeah. caps and then like spotlight it like on a Broadway yeah. show. You can, ha you can hang these. And um, if, you, if you like these kinds of designs, sign up for Bold Ports uh, kit subscription service. Yeah, um, there's two subscriptions. All these PCBs are beautiful. There's two subscription services I really only, recommend. Only two. No, no, there's yes. a lot. Um, well, I'll say three. So, Bullport. Bullport. Definitely, if you like doing electronics. Uh, comic Book Girl 19, she's currently doing The Watchmen. Uh, she reads, oh, really? Reads a comic book um, and goes through it. She previously did the Dune Box subscription. Oh, wow. This is just like, this was made for me. And that was on my list of things to do for Adafruit, so I don't have to do this. So oh, okay, there you go. And then uh, How Tunes. Those are three really good subscription services for kids. Okay. Um, and of course, Adabox, so four, yeah. Um, and uh, the best part is, don't let this happen to you. This does not need to happen yeah. to you. You can oh. you can save your wood furniture from from the HomePod. Okay. Okay. With so that is uh, Thank that's, you. those are uh, new products, Lady Data.